Good morning from day two on the Bliss. <laughs> Your that, an, only that. one antler is. What's wrong with the there antler? You go. It's a cooler day out. Um, we just saw a whale swim by. Yes, so um, exciting. Our, our first whale sighting. Even though we're out on open ocean, there's still seabirds out there diving for fish and such, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> It's never a, yeah, it's never a good sign when you see these by the staircases. Generally, these are filled with with bark bags, and most of them are empty. Welcome back to the Wonderful Life. We're Tim and Deanna. Today's day two of our seven-day cruise to Alaska aboard the beautiful Norwegian Bliss. It's a sea day while we make our way to Sitka tomorrow, but there's no shortage of things to do on board. Well, let's get this sea day started. Let's go. Four, so we're trying to use the stairs as much yeah. as we can because everything's kind of central. Um, we're also on the left side of the ship. Yeah, so our, uh, our view is of just ocean. We're not seeing uh, mountains or land. No, not uh, so, yet. And I don't think they can on the other side just because of the heavy fog. Yeah. Walking through the casino, we're starting to smell. There's, the, the smoking section is kind of enclosed, but that door opens and closes so yeah. often that it, it the smoke permeates. billows out. But at least in the big picture, it's a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, having a room for smokers or so. And it sounds like everyone's winning jackpots. That's just how the machines work. <laughs> <laughs> it's very deceiving. Uh, okay, we're gonna walk all the way through here and then head over to get some coffee. Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking Starbucks on this ship. Yes, it it's a nice, it's like, a real Starbucks. Yeah, it looks like one. <laughs> Uh, as opposed to those little pop-ups. Yeah. A lot of people are wide awake and gambling. They've been going for a while, it looks like. Oh, there's the local. We have to go downstairs. We'll have to find the stairs to walk. Yes. To walk one floor down. It'll be our first time through the local. Let me turn the camera around so you can yep. follow along. There you go. How you can see that. this. The atrium is pretty visible from up here at, along the railing. The, uh, it's a nice touch. The local um, is like Ocean's. Yeah, they're serving in breakfast the same right now. Spot. Um, and it looks like Bloody Mary's and such. Yeah, sports bar -y. I'm sure it's the same food as Ocean's as well, but it's a yeah, really nice space. I like it up yeah, here. Yeah, there's some tables on the left and on the right, and if you go far to the back corner of the right, Morning. is a little bit of a video arcade of sorts. Uh, there's also bowling. We've, we've never been able to figure out how you access the bowling. We'll try that again on this cruise. Agree. We're determined to, to bowl once on a, a Norwegian ship. Yeah, there are mini bowling alleys, but we'll go ahead and show you right now. Um, there's a way to put your card in and then just bowl. They're, they're almost like bocce balls, mm -hmm. a little bit. And I have small hands, so. Yeah, so you, it says that you tap or swipe your card at six dollars and ninety nine cents. It doesn't say how long. Never been able to figure this out, but maybe one day. That last, yeah. Um, I assume the pins will. Just somebody sort of pop played last night. Okay. It almost looks like somebody played. I thought maybe there's. Oh, they have souvenir penny press machines. Oh, that's funny. So that you can get new. your penny yeah. in the, with the bliss on it, um, like a Norwegian ink cheese, a wild, yeah. a couple wild whale things. That's um, cool. Which are specific to this cruise, which is handy. A dollar ninety nine. For one? For one. Okay. I wonder if there's a discount if you buy all I, four. I don't I doubt it. It doesn't, doesn't say. It just says a dollar ninety nine. Doesn't look that sophisticated like Disney yeah. World or anything. There must have been twenty people in that elevator. I didn't think it was possible. It's like those I, Volkswagen I Beetles in the seventies when <laughs> twenty people get yeah. out or see how many people you can pack in. Oh there it is. So this is the atrium. We can turn the camera back around. There's the atrium bar. They're doing a Sudo Sudoku game thing right now. Guest services is crazy as usual. And lo and behold, Starbucks. I like that one. 
What do you think? Yet another Starbucks mug. Yeah, but it's we Alaska. We don't like Alaska. Every time we drink coffee out no, of it. No, it's cool. You got the bitter. bear and the, and the caribou. The, is it a caribou? I think so. Is it a moose or a caribou? Um, I think it's a moose. All right, we'll find that it's a moose. Good morning. How are you? All right, we've got our coffee. Yay! After the long line down there and a um, little confusion, hopefully everything works out with the premium plus drink package. Starbucks. Yeah. Is the drinks are free. Um, Supposedly. They, they, for some reason it said cabin charge on our Yeah, uh, like $9 a drink. So, so we said, well, th does that make any sense? And they said, well, no, if you buy a mug, you're going to have to pay for that. We understand if you buy a mug, of it course, it's not a It was a little confusing. A I'm not quite sure. Um, they it's understood. Probably, it's probably fine. Um, but we'll have to check our... Uh, <laughs> our account, yeah. Account. We can't check it on the app because the app keeps saying the error. So. I think they're having system errors again. Anyway, we have ventured up to deck 15 forward and are in the observation lounge now. We're going to mm -hmm. grab some food. and oh, Hand washy thing. Yep, definitely. Got a washy washy. I feel full of delay. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Good to go. Let's um, go. It's, yeah, I don't remember a washing station when we were on the Viva or no. we went to the observation Not lounge. Not in the observation that's, lounge. That's a nice thing that's, to have. Mm -hmm. Just whether people use it is the question. Yeah. Well, I see sunshine out uh, there. Juices. Coffees, lots of fruit, lots of pastries. Fruit, pastries, um, cheeses, lunch meat. Lunch meat, cheese. Luke, and yogurt, oh, it looks like. Yeah, yogurt, like a couple different yeah. kinds. And oh, wait, this look, looks and cereals and. Yeah. Like a little oatmeal -y yeah. type of a deal. Oh, it's muesli. So now I know what muesli is. I was wondering on our left. You're so funny. It's a hot it cereal, I thought, like but that looks like from it's Norway or somewhere. Cold. Um, this is a very large observation deck here. Mm -hmm. On a sea day like this, I'm sure some people have their book and a blanket and they're yep. they're not moving. Especially since there's a bar here as well, so you can get that combination mm -hmm. of meals and beverages here. Um, it I'd, wraps around a long way, but you can't see anything today. It's yeah, pea soup fog. it is. Very foggy, but it does look like there's some sun that's trying to poke through. So mm -hmm. maybe the fog will It's a whole, a whole other section of food. Let me turn around. Right. There's your oatmeal, though. Oh, yeah, regular oatmeal as opposed to the mm -hmm. peculiar muesli substance. <laughs> so everything else is similar. Yeah, it's just a little more straightforward. Yeah. A lot of fresh fruit. Juices, cranberry juice, orange juice, ice water. Oh, it looks handy. Yeah. There's like three different sections. Very nice. Yeah. And there's the bar for those people that are already drinking alcohol. Mm -hmm. we'll find a seating area and take turns getting... Getting food, you mean? This looks nice. Yeah. If we can't see Jack anyway. I'm good with that. Very but, cozy. But yeah, that you can't see. Oh, about 30 feet out. <laughs> that's a lot of that fog horny stuff. Yeah, that's, early this that morning. That started like at 6 a.m. So. And now uh, it's it, the, the fog comes and goes. And sometimes it's clear. That's sometimes really it's not. Really cool space. I'm, I'm sure we'll be back. They do have music up here too today. Sometime so later on. So. I'll let Deanna get her food. Oh, you I'm want starving. me to go? Yep. All right, we're going to get food. Or Deanna's going to get food. I'm I staying with understand. you people. I understand. Deanna's going to abandon you, and I will take over. I can yeah. shut your mic. Always making me I'll look. mute you. Always making me look bad. It's one of my bad. favorite things to do. So we are back after getting food. I got some yogurt with some nuts and little uh, dried Bananas. Like pecans, maybe. Yeah, they are pecans. And some ra I and then I added some raisins that I found. And it's mine's a mixture of strawberry and 
just plain, plain yogurt because I don't <coughs> like a lot, a lot of sweetness. But I also got some watermelon and what do I have? A cinnamon roll and a pana chocolate. So we will see. Um, we went to different stations. So yes. I just wanted to see if they vary, and they do a little bit. Uh, There's a lot, though. This is a very large space. When I got the yogurt, they had a plain strawberry and mango. mango. So I've got a Saw mango that. strawberry combination um, and some dehydrated banana chips, I assume. Yep. And a little bowl of fruit, a pan of chocolate, and a cinnamon roll as well. Oh. So great minds think alike. <laughs> what a surprise. Except my cinnamon roll looks like it has raisins in it. I don't know if yours has no, raisins. No, mine does not. I don't think. Okay. I don't think so. So, so. Um, it, it's a fair amount of stuff. That you can get cereals and, and oatmeals and things. I may end up yeah. trying the oatmeal after I finish all when, this. When we were on the Viva, though, there were like little egg bites and stuff like that. Yeah. They weren't very good, so maybe that's why they don't have them here. This is really just kind of more like a continental breakfast is how mm -hmm. I would cop this, yeah. Yeah, I went wandering. There's, a, there's probably four or five different food stations, mostly the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Very slight variation. And then I noticed there's a table with a bunch of TV sets, like TV screens in set. And you can look at uh, different excursion destinations. And oh, things. that's good. So I'm, we'll go take a closer look at that mm -hmm. once we're done with our food so we can show you that. I think it's kind of give you okay. some information as to and where we, you're headed. We might be doing some bingo this morning. We're not sure yet. Yeah, this will be our first attempt at any of these game shows. We're thinking bingo, deal, no deal, that sort of thing. Yeah, deal. we'll see. There's lots of stuff going on today, so we'll just take you along with us. Bye. Okay. We are heading down to get bingo. Yes. In is that in the atrium? Theater. It is? Oh, okay. that's where the cards are in the theater. I don't know where the game is. I thought that this one was in the atrium for some reason. Mm, we, it, we should probably check the, the app. The game will be in the atrium, but the cards have to be purchased. Okay. There, um, we will find out. I'll show you the little table that shows the different ports of it. Right. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, yeah I see. So, so, yeah, they've got the different oh, I see. destinations for the ship. So it's more or less advertising for the destinations that the less uh, goes to at different times of the year. Yeah. There we go. Touch screen. Mm-hmm. See, this is where we're going. You got Juno in here, and then you can click on the different. Here's Sitka. We're going to Sitka tomorrow. And then you can click. Apparently, there's a big Russian history in Sitka. And you can see the details. So it's not all just NCL stuff, although the majority looks like it is. I don't know if somebody put this in or so. Things to do in Sitka. Yeah, gives you an idea of what you can do. Ship, I have to admit, and there's so much more that we still need to find. Um, our room is somewhere. Somewhere over here. Yeah. We're on deck nine. We've got the cutout. And we have an extended balcony. And we have the, yeah, that little white thing is right underneath us because that's deck eight. That's the walking thing underneath us. That's the waterfront. All right, so um, this will be our first time. Trying bingo. Trying bingo on a cruise ship. We've, everyone Never we've, ever that, tried that it before. Everyone that's sailed has done this already. Hard, we're, hard. we're rookies. So um, there's nine games on each card and there's three yeah. bingo games being played. Actually so. one, two, three, four, five, six games oh, on six each games. card. So six games per card. And then card. times three All right, so is, is 18. 18 yeah. possibilities, I guess. Um, and we have give you some raffle tickets. Five raffle things. tickets, $59 uh -huh. for this. Um, that, this is the reason why we've never done it before, but we thought we'd try it and see what happens I today. Could see how the prize money is form that everybody paying this much if we paid more we would get a, a free t-shirt which I don't need yeah um, and a few more there cards and things three different levels and I took a picture of, of what it was there was like a $49 one a $59 one and a $79 one mm -hmm. and the $79 you get like a couple of instant win chances 
more more cards Almost to play like a with. Scratch off lottery ticket yeah. kind of concept. More and then you get a t-shirt and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I was like, eh, we don't need any of that. So we just mm -hmm. chose the middle of the road one for fifty nine dollars. Uh -huh. So there's a presentation going on in the theater right now as soon as that's done. On they'll Alaska. Be, they'll be setting up a little area for people to sit and yeah. uh, scratch their bingo cards. So we'll take you along with us for bingo in a little bit. Right, bye bye. bye. Who is it? We have G60. G60, G60, and if you got that G, say G, G, G. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. It's absolutely free to do, and it will really help our channel grow. Well, everyone, we lost at bingo. What a surprise that is. Um, I don't, the, the guy next to us that had hundreds of dollars oh God. worth of bingo so cards. So many cards, and, and they didn't uh, come in anymore. So that's close the either. only consolation I have. <laughs> Is that we only spent the fifty million, and, and but then we still have the raffle drawings to win. Yeah, on. that's true. If, but judging by the way our bingo cards turned out, I I don't like our chances. Um, uh, we came really close on the last one, the last mm -hmm. game, which was a full, um, the full card, I guess, and we were down to two numbers. But a bunch of people started standing up, and the last couple of numbers called. So. We're going to stop and get some water and then we're going to come back to the atrium, yep. possibly. Um, it is really, I guess it's on the pool deck um, right around the corner from La Bistro where we were last night. It is kind of an outdoor diner. Um, windows open and it, there's open air that goes out to the pool deck. Last time we ate at one of these, it was a it was not full service. You had to pay for it. It was a la carte and you had to pay for it. Um, NCL recently changed that and now it's complimentary. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it, it, it's a cooler day out. Um, we just saw a whale swim by. Yes, so um, exciting. Our, our first whale sighting. The, but they put heaters on the ceiling. So yeah. just about between every booth, there's, there's ceiling heat, which is nice. Um, I ordered, uh, it's almost like a barbecue burger. I'll see, as I haven't ordered that here. I've ordered the sliders, the pulled pork sliders in the past. So I'm changing it up. I have a chicken salad sandwich on whole grain bread. It's very large. I will take a picture of it and we will post those as well. Um, I probably won't finish it because it's so big. Um, yeah, yeah, we were going to do the deal or no deal down in the atrium, but um, we're too hungry. Yeah. We'll, we'll do it on another day. Uh, and after how poorly we did at, the at bingo, bingo I, I don't have the heart to do that again. Yeah. Um, to go find a horseshoe or a poorly clover yeah, exactly. first. Yeah, um, exactly. But yeah, we're um, a pretty scheduled day from here on in. We've got a show to see this evening. Yep. And uh, we're going to try uh, the Manhattan Room for dinner tonight. That would be the main dining room. Um, and we'll uh, catch you guys at our next stop. Yeah, whatever we do next, well, you'll follow us. All right, we had some time to kill. We, we talked to our room steward, uh, yep. got to meet him. It seemed very, very nice. nice. Um, our room's all made up for later, which is a bonus. A little later than usual, but better late than never. Um, ran down to the casino to try our hand for our $100 slot play of the day. This was only an $80 slot play of the day. What are you talking about? We haven't done that in a long time. Um, we did get a bonus, and we 
were up a little bit and then wound up coming out even. So I'm, we're good with that. The bonus was fun. Um, yeah, I was telling Deanna when we got down to about thirty dollars. Yeah, maybe it was just cash out and. And uh, she got a bonus, so we're up a bit. So yep. now we are going to check out the shop called The Sandbar, which has a Norwegian merch and yes. such. Flip the camera on and take a look inside. This is on deck eight. And a lot of Alaska stuff in anticipation. That's kind of cute that with the whale. Cute. I'm not sure. Sarah the, would like that shirt. Yeah, I don't know about the little bird on the bottom. What is he? But Sarah would like everything. Here, look. A little ship's model of the bliss. Yep. Alaska, um, Alaska. Yeah, That's cute. Let's see, I get. It's the same, almost the same. I get. So, like, these all make sense. A little dog sled. Uh huh. But this one. What's wrong with it? You've got. You have I get that, I get that Eagles, there's a salmon. Bears. But what's that little guy on next to the bear down there? What kind of bird is that? It looks like a pheasant to me. Okay, no, it's a, it's an odd little partridge looking critter. If you know what okay. kind of. A what kind partridge. Of, what kind of bird that is? Maybe it's a national partridge. bird of Alaska. It's possible. I don't know. All right. But yes, I don't know. It all makes sense to me. Does it? Everything mm -hmm. makes sense to you. Yeah. This is. They got a lot of Alaska stuff here for sure. Mm -hmm. Are these mittens or are slippers? They look like mittens. They're little mittens that look like huskies mm -hmm. and polar bears. This is so cute. Just, I like it. Eight, only eighteen dollars. That's very fancy. What is mm -hmm. this? Is a hat? Here, I think so. Well, watch long. All right, we'll we'll give this a try. Give the front. Oh yeah, it has a face on it. I don't have your face in it. <laughs> well, there you go. Your Not, only no. one antler is. What's wrong with the there antlers? There you go. One antler was, yeah, you got still keep falling. Yeah, you got to get one. Yeah, I, I'm not. Two solid antlers. <laughs> so much Alaska merch. Lots of fleecy stuff. Sweatshirts, which mm -hmm. makes sense. That's cute. I, it's very understated. I like mm -hmm. understated. It's a post, oh, it's just a card, greeting card. Is it, or is it just a frameable card that you could like put on your know. wall? They've got an envelope. That's what it, oh, no, it's oh, no. just, just a card. It's that's not an envelope. That's exactly what I said. It's like a little poster. But I see an envelope behind it. See right me. here. See, that's the envelope. Oh, I see. Missed that. Okay. Never mind. You were right. I was wrong. A uh, beer stein. Mm -hmm. That's kind of Alaska esque. Yeah. Um, this is the store where you could buy all of your um, duty free. Okay. Your duty free alcohol is in here as well. And I think they do cigarettes too, which I wouldn't really know because you don't smoke. But for those of you that do, what? I thought you were going to say something profound. No, I don't ever say anything profound. What are you talking about? The put, little jackets are cute. Do you over put there. those on your couch or what is? No, I see these a lot. I've seen those on other vlogs. Okay. I like these. Oh my god, feel how soft that is. Mm -hmm. Alaska. 49. 49th state? Probably. So we are um, in our wine tasting in the wine cellar bar. So we have macaroons in front of us and a bunch of wine and some in black glasses. So um, yeah, they give us. A, I'm gonna post a picture of the little instruction sheet on how you can uh, determine the different uh, sweetness and uh, by, mm -hmm. by smelling them and tasting them and that sort of thing and score them. I think the black glasses so that you don't have any bias. Yes. You can go. You know, kind of. It's a blind taste test, basically. Yeah. Um, this is not um, included. This is an additional charge. I think it was, what, $22 a person? Um, first time we've ever done this, but we thought it would be fun. Yeah, there's so. a wine and cheese that was first thing this morning, then a wine and chocolate. Yes. Uh, so we always and want to do these, and we're too late to register, so this time for sure. Today, the black, uh, blind black glass tasting, we can guess the colors the funny at house and the origins. Yeah? The colors 
either red or white, don't worry, there is no rosé. <laughs> the parietals, we're going to understand how to evaluate the grey parietals with a simple way. And the origins, we're going to understand by evaluating them on the palettes. Tip three. Red. Red. Merlot. Merlot. Cool. Cool. So now is the moment of truth. Before I reveal the card, the battle, you want to change your mind. Change the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have completed our wine tasting, our blind wine tasting. We lost. Well, we're probably third out of three, so that's not bad, yeah. right? Um, <laughs> the first thing we we lost. The team that finished first, the uh, one woman was actually a sommelier. That was her yeah. profession. Yeah, an unfair advantage is all I can real say. Deal. I didn't realize that you could be um, a wine expert and know what you're talking about. So I'm good with that. She can win, I suppose. Yeah, so we're heading back to our stateroom, kind of, kind of, I guess, change and get ready for dinner. And it's a little rocky, so that's why I'm all over the place. Sorry. <laughs> still here. Here we are. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, this is the weather we're seeing now. It's, it's, it's very hazy, windy, light drizzle. Um, if there was a whale out there, it'd be really hard to tell. But th even though we're out on open ocean, there's still seabirds out there diving for fish and such, which is pretty impressive. Again. We did see a whale earlier. Mm -hmm. That's when it was a little brighter. And it was sunny, yeah. Uh -huh. But the ship, I think, may have slowed down during that time when there was a whale out Well, I'm the sure water. the sonograph thing that shows you what's under the ship probably saw pods of whales because I did Sonar. bench... Yeah. You sonograph. Said sonograph. I thought that would Sonar. tell you whether you're having a boy or a girl. <laughs> same. It's the same type of technology, uh, I think. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, life goes on. It's radiology stuff. Um, I had run over to the restroom on the opposite side of the ship um, when we were at lunch, and there were people with cameras out, and they had seen a big pot of of, of whale. I saw them in the distance, mm -hmm. and we had only seen one on our side that we were eating on. So. Are you saying the plural of whale is whale? Yes. It's not whales? <laughs> I thought it was just a, a pot of whales and not a pot of whale. You're a jerk. We, we, I know See it. what I have to put up if, with. If you guys. know the proper conjugation, All right. put it in it's the comments It's windy below. and it's rainy and I need to get ready for dinner. So uh, we will bring you along with us. See ya. Bye. Hi. So hi guys, we are at dinner at uh, Manhattan Room, which is the main dining room, the main, main dining room on the ship and let's see we both had clam chowder soup which is always very good i really enjoyed that a lot um, i did a caesar salad it was on the small side which is probably also good and i ordered the blue fish which looks like it comes with mashed potatoes and some mushrooms and onions i had the new york or i have the new york strip i asked to substitute the french fries with asparagus because i am trying to be the healthier version of myself <laughs> and I got the french fries and the asparagus, so. Yeah, well, we had french fries for lunch. Yeah, so. I don't know. I, the, the french fries found me, so I can't turn oh, my back no, on no, them. no, no, Although your steak looks really good, so hopefully it's done the right way. Uh, it's got kind of a glazy thing going on there. Um, There's capers on that, too. Having just cruised on the Star and eaten a lot of these strip steaks, this is very similar, I think. Well, it's a thick cut. Yeah, it it's like I a got half it. of a It looks a like it's a half of a Cagney steak, yeah. Yeah, so it's just fine. I don't have that big a stomach. Um, so, yeah, this is the perfect portion size. The, the fries 
days, I guess I'm going to have to eat one or Whatever. two. Whatever. Uh, mine, uh, nice. mine, mine is very healthy tonight as well. So. Except for those mashed potatoes. I'm my mashed I'm, potatoes are way healthier I'm than your French you fries. calling you out for the mashed potatoes. Yes. My mashed and potatoes are way arugula? healthier. It is arugula. Is arugula um, a healthy is arugula. thing? Yep. Okay, so we what? shall see. Um, we do have uh, reservations tonight to see Icons, which is one of the main stage shows. But it's late. We're going to see if we can sneak in like a standby show. for the 7.30. Otherwise, yeah. we'll force ourselves to stay up. We do gain an hour going uh, to, Sitka. to Sitka. So um, I'm going to need that hour to get a little extra sleep. I, I don't know. We're really tired. I'm, yeah, it, it hit us both. We both had coffee before the uh, wine tasting, and it didn't really uh, it, make it a dent. nothing for me. We're both kind of stopping each other from yawning so we don't <laughs> set off a chain reaction. Yeah. Um, service is good tonight. I, another good main dining All room. Day. I, I do good in Manhattan room. The bars we've gone to have been really quick and uh, we even won a little more money at the casino. While not, we were waiting for our not table. Not significant, but about five bucks on uh, video poker games yeah. while we waited for our little buzzer to go off. That beckoned us here to the Manhattan room. So, all right, we will either pick up at Icons or we'll wind up seeing the Adele tribute at the Cavern Club, which I'm afraid might put us both <laughs> to sleep. I do like Adele. She's not a high energy performer. That is I, I true. don't know how they're going to make Adele. Very Maybe true. Maybe it'll be an uh, acrobatic Adele that does You're rambling. splits and handstands so you know. and such. Um, we will either catch up at the Cavern Club if we're unsuccessful getting into icons, or we will catch up at icons. Oh, when you touch me like this, and you hold me like that, I'll just have to admit that it's all. Never a, yeah, it's never a good sign when you see these by the staircases. Generally, these are filled with with bark bags, and most of them are empty. We were doing a little yep. bit of rocking because we sped up. Either that or they haven't filled them yet. Maybe. I don't know. There were some bags downstairs. That's true. So we've seen three out of four empty, which is not a good sign. Bad news for some. Yeah. 
Good evening. We are back in our stateroom. Um, had a lovely evening, a nice dinner in the Manhattan room, and then we did get a chance to see the early show of icons. Um, we just stood in the back, which was perfect, actually. So we were able to get a little bit of footage of that, and now we are on our balcony watching the sunset. Um, we're going to probably get up early tomorrow. We're and getting cozy tonight. Yeah, we're so just going to chill, maybe watch a little bit of TV. I don't know what's on. And Yeah, we got a lot done um, mm -hmm. for this sea day, so um, they certainly kept people entertained. There's That's for sure. There was a lot of activities. Um, yeah, we're going to chill and watch the sunset and then uh, just relax back in our room and let everyone else go crazy. But that extra hour, we might <laughs> get an extra hour I mean, there's sleep. a dance party tonight. Um, mm -hmm. What else? I mean, there there was a lot of musical events mm -hmm. tonight um, in different venues, like the Mojito Bar had music and the District had music and... Mm -hmm. Um, there was music in the Cavern Club, and so... And the Q, yeah, a country show yeah. and the, yeah. the barbecue restaurant. Um, but, yeah, we're, we've done enough, I think. Uh, yeah, we did a lot today. We were up early, like at 6, so we're going to mm -hmm. call out an early night, and we will see you guys in Sitka tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our, the sunset's a little obscured by clouds. We filmed a little bit before now but i have a feeling that low layer of clouds is going to kind of mess things up we got the pretty part in yes we did so we'll see you in the morning good night, good night. thanks for joining us today if you found our video entertaining informative or both please click the like button and subscribe to our channel we've got big plans for our day in sitka tomorrow come along with us and as always keep living the wonderful life